خب بگی دیتی اوتو Oh my, company? How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets and priests. Rakira was forte. So strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. World premiere, ojo! The Winter's Legacy lives on. Happy half birthday, Rose. En la pesadilla del padre llega a su fin. I just want to find my daughter. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Tío, a mí en primera persona me gustó mucho, tío. You are my precious Rose. Pero también tengo ganas de ver cómo es en tercera. So long as we were together. La Rosalía. I love you. La hija tendrá que enfrentarse a sus miedos. Si lo tenéis con subtítulos en español, pasarme el link de YouTube. Hostia, el jugador del LOL vuelve. Me sirve. Va a tener superpoderes, la mía. Dios. 10 del 28. Coño. ¿Ya? Tío, ¿qué pasa, tío? Estamos llenos de, de juegos y contenido últimamente. Holy shit. Eso es en nada. Hostia, para Halloween. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. Mm -hmm. He said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. 
Y se podrá jugar en primera persona también, no es solo en tercera este. Es sinónimos con fear. Por ejemplo, si has tenido una enfermedad de fiebre que causó un nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else fuck? similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. So the lord watch the Resident Evil. That's why we chose those characters. Ese modo es como un poco me. No me llama mucho la verdad esto. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible is spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness. Hay jugadores que pueden puede que lo pasen muy mal jugando en primera persona por el miedo y tal. Por eso ha metido el tercera persona para que la gente no pase miedito. Mientras que no me quito de primera persona yo feliz. A mí me igual. With a third person perspective. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can de cristal de nuevo. Game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village. That's both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? Showcase con su bien español. Muchas gracias, Ivana. So even in third person mode it creates, which is a very different vale, experience. Sí, sí. I think third person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, no te deja. Ethan will look away. En serio, tío? Not quite able to get a good look. <laughs> Nah, pero seguro que con mods puedes ver la cara. O sea, que da igual, ¿sabes? La gente si lo quiere ver lo va a ver. Me parece estúpido, es en plan de que gire la cara para no vérsela. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Ojo. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Dios. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in okay. third person mode. Okay. Or the previously existing first person mode. Bueno. Sí, no, pero yo me, yo me refería a, a demo del Resident Evil 4, no de, no de este. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Move out. Yes, sir. Okay. Este modo como que me da muy guay. Reverse. Resident Evil R Reverse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already Meh. own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. 
vea un poquito igual, la verdad. Se llama. Showcase. El 4 tiene que ser algo, si no, no habría un showcase. Also, Resident Evil Village will be playable on PlayStation VR 2. Oh, ojo. Hi. Tío, que lo metan también en, from Sony en PC, tío, lo del VR. Resident Evil Village VR mode, currently in development for PlayStation VR 2, will allow you to explore next-gen VR, Whoa. making the ultimate immersive experience a reality. The VR mode in the previous title, Resident Evil 7, mm -hmm. was well received by the world thanks to its stunning horror experience. And the VR mode in Resident Evil Village takes up the challenge to improve and enhance the same experience and bring it to the next level. The first biggest improvement is the visual enhancements. The VR mode in Resident Evil Village will support 4K HDR, which allows natural designs to be displayed in the intended colors to showcase the beautiful and bizarre world of Village. Dios, que te pise esta mujer en, en, en VR y en 4K. Van a vender como churros, chaval. <laughs> allows the users to take a closer look at the fine details of various objects and makes the game experience more immersive. Como saben, eh? Como saben. There's also a significant improvement in no latency. Compared to Resident Evil 7 on PSVR, both latency and responsiveness have been improved, elevating the VR experience as a whole. Qué probarlo, tío, te gusta, ¿eh? The second biggest improvement is enhanced immersive sound experience provided by Tempest 3D audio technology. Village uses ambisonics and object audio for presence and powerful sound. Playing on PlayStation VR 2 allows the VR headset movement and audio to be more closely synchronized and dynamically changes the feel depending on the player position and head movement for a more immersive experience. Ah. Sí, por favor. Another point of improvement is a more intuitive and realistic gaming experience using the PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller. Only the DualShock 4 was supported in the previous title, but Village now supports the PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller, allowing for more intuitive oh. and flexible controls, making it feel almost as if you are really there holding the weapons that appear in the game. ¿Qué dices? There are so many other elements in Village that we couldn't share today. Please look forward to Resident Evil Village VR mode, which allows you to capture amazingly realistic experiences with your eyes, ears, and senses. Ahora que probarlo por razones científicas. How delightful. Such delectable information ought to be safer. What's that? You want more? Hombre, 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 por supuesto. What por supuesto. a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. El cuatro. Tío, sigo con la duda. No sé si pasarme el Resident Evil 4 con mods o esperarme ya directamente a que salga este. ¿Qué hago, tío? I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Vale, bien, gameplay. Me sirve. Es en marzo, es que no queda tanto tampoco. Dios, qué guapo, tío. Tío, poco a poco noto que estamos volviendo a la época dorada de los juegos. Con el COVID y todo eso ha habido como una, un parón de la hostia. Pero es que se viene una, una, una cantidad de juegos, tío, que no es normal, ¿eh? ¿Alguien home?
Este creo que no tendrá primera persona para nada. Detrás de ti, imbécil. una boca en la garganta Here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. Momento Outlast 2 Pero dispara la cabeza, cabrón Sigue hablando en español Pero ahora en español bien Ah, qué buena Dios, la vaca, no Pobrecita Tiene pinta de que va a ser agobiante, eso me gusta. No me gusta cuando estoy jugando, pero me gusta en plan que sea así, ¿sabes? Hostias. Uf. What did you think? As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas and stated the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. Una demo, una demo por favor, una demo. Una demo. Una demo. Una demo. With the sense of familiarity if you play the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added parry using his knife, and more. 
Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Of course, we can't forget the merchants. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Mm. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this mm -hmm. product's release. Mm -hmm. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available to play on PlayStation 4 Mano. in addition to PlayStation 5. Pero también, the PlayStation no? 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing Mano. for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the deluxe edition. This includes additional content such as costumes, special Romantic. weapons, what the fuck? Map, and more. Next is the physical only collector's edition. This edition includes the contents of the deluxe edition Uy, as well as a rara, rara, no? figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the oh. attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. <coughs> World Premiere. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? Hmm. Ashley, where are you? Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm here in the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lambs are escaping. We need to go. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? What are you doing here? My faith in the side will show her the path. Ooh. Ashley, run! Shall ever flow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's it lost is? no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Are oh, you gonna be kidding me?
Ah, vale. Es el trail. Vale, 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 vale. Me estaba rayando, digo, ya están anunciando un DLC o algo. Pero no, 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 era un trailer. Han dicho que era World Premier sorpresa, no sé qué. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC vale. separately. The Winter's ¿Eh? Expansion includes three additional modes. Yo creo que este no me esperaré a Halloween, eh. lo jugaré el 28 cuando salga. So ¿En qué día cae el 28, gente? The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Un viernes. Additional Orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Pero es eso, o sea, no, no creo que salga solo oh, yes. para Play. A demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Enjoy the extreme feeling of immersion when you play Resident Evil Village on PlayStation VR 2. ¿Cómo va a salir solo para Play 5 si todos los remakes y todos los juegos han salido siempre en todas las plataformas? The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Pero pone aquí PlayStation 4 y PlayStation 5 porque es en plan un showcase de PlayStation, ¿sabes? Looks like you've had your fill with such a grand display. I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant, an odd chap. But his information is good, and I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. Bravo. Y ojalá, ojalá saquen esto, chicos.